Want to know why? Ask how. Howard the Humongous! It's called the second law of thermodynamics. All things tend toward entropy. All things tend toward disorder. If you know anything about science, you've been hearing about it most of your life. If you are a scientist, you believe in this profoundly. Uh, one of the great scientists of the 19th or the early 20th century, the person who put Einstein on the map, Sir Arthur Eddington, said that if you disbelieve in Maxwell's uh, equations for light, well, you know, equations can sometimes be wrong. Uh, if you agree in uh, the laws of electrical conductivity, well, you know, occasionally the laws we come up with can be wrong. But if you disagree with the second law of thermodynamics, there's simply no hope for you. You might as well give up and commit suicide. Uh, well, I've got news for you. If you look at the big picture of the cosmos from the Big Bang to today, that 13.77 billion years of evolution, you don't find a universe falling apart. You don't find a universe tending toward disorder. You don't find a universe collapsing into a gray goo, a thermodynamic equilibrium. You find the opposite. You find a universe that doesn't fall down the stairs continually. You find a universe that through some means we do not yet know in science continually falls up the stairs. You find a universe that goes from a Big Bang, which is a great big inchoate blop, it's an explosion, to quarks, that goes from quarks to atoms, that goes from atoms to clouds of gas, that goes from clouds of gas to galaxies, that goes from galaxies, which are great big clots of clouds of gas, to stars that goes from stars that swallow, I mean, these, you've got a universe when you have the first stars that only have three different basic substances, three different forms of atoms. Um, they are hydrogen, helium, and lithium. The stars first crunch atoms in their hearts, terribly destructive thing to do. Um, photons, that is light, are the screams of dying atoms in the hearts of stars. As if that kind of violence on nature's behalf weren't bad enough, um, eventually the stars die. Okay, it's first law, second law of thermodynamics time, right? Things have finally done. After it's now over it's several million years into the universe's existence, for several million years, the universe has defiantly just said, screw you, to the second law of thermodynamics. But finally, the second law of thermodynamics turns out to be right, right? These stars are falling apart, thank God! Guess what? When they fall apart and die, when they collapse in their groans of death, they crunch atoms together in ways that defy the laws, defy the boundaries that keep atoms intact. And the result is the dying stars create 89 new forms of atoms. 89 new kinds of basic substances, oxygen, iron, carbon, nitrogen, palladium, titanium, all kinds of weird and bizarre shit. Is the universe, even when it seems to be undergoing the second law of thermodynamics, all things tend toward disorder the most and the death of stars, are things falling down? Are things becoming more disordered? Or are things falling up when you end up with 89 new forms of atoms? The second law of thermodynamics is wrong. But scientists who believe in it can't separate their science from their religion. And they don't recognize that the second law of thermodynamics is not science. It is a belief. And they hold on to it. Yes, some of it's math does apply. It does work. But in the big picture, and it's big picture claims that the second law of thermodynamics makes, in the big picture scheme of things, it's wrong, 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 wrong. 
What are the first two rules of science? The truth at any price, including the price of your life. And look at things right under your nose as if you've never seen them before. The scientists who believe in the second law of thermodynamics do not look at things right under their nose. And by that definition are not scientists at all.